so those who are getting what I'm not saying, another boss speaker was saying, as leaders, whether from Kiambu, whether from Nui Nyanza, we must now begin taking responsibility. I like what Honorable Sara Correra said, that you can indeed lead your people in a demonstration, peaceably and unarmed. Honorable Speaker, last week, in Kangeme, there were people firing gunshots at the police. Honorable Speaker, in Mwolongo, in Kitengela, there was use of firearms by people who are not policemen. Honorable Speaker, we have used heavy terms like militia. And I remember when KJ... Honorable Speaker, can you protect me? Because there are only three members, Honorable Speaker, we have capacity to protect me. Other members, other members, we have done very well. Very well, until this point. So let us not shout across the floor. If you want to put an intervention, you know what to do, Honorable Members. You know, Honorable Speaker, I, I have been here really long enough to know these tactics. What is out of order? members, you know I have listened to all of you. These allegations have come from both sides of the house. I have had people who say they were shot from the back, others from the front, others the police were shot. So if we are going to make progress, honorable members, let us be keen on what we present. Honorable Shumwa, honorable, honorable, yeah. honorable Speaker, you know I never stand here to say things, careless things. There was a report, Honorable Speaker, that was released the day before yesterday by the Ministry of Interior that is in public record that 158 police vehicles have been destroyed, 305 officers injured, one policeman killed. Honorable Speaker, when I said there was, a pol there was fire for, to, towards the police in Kangemi, indeed I happened to be in the vicinity that day attending a funeral, Honorable Speaker, in a church. And Honorable KJ, because I was with Honorable KJ, he can tell you, as we waited, policemen had to take cover because there were gunshots coming from the crowd. Honorable Speaker, when the Honorable Pio and I was challenged on the use of the word militia, I want to state that it is indeed true. There has been a militia that has been used in these riots yes. that have purported to be demonstrations. Yes. Honorable Speaker, you saw even our mainstream media houses cover incidences in Kitengela where members of the public were alluding to the fact that all the people who were demonstrate, purportedly demonstrating in Kitengela were outsiders who were ferried into Kitengela using public service vehicles. Order, order members. I mean, you must admit I'm not a best speaker. Order members. I know so many of us want to speak, and I want to confirm we have a lot of time for everyone to speak. We have an hour and a half to go. So we will speak. So we will give the majority leader to wind up because your time is up, majority leader. Honorable Speaker, you, you will add me the time that I have been discussing. And I had time, three, three, hour, three minutes, 20 seconds. Honorable Speaker, I was saying if you listen to the people in Kitengala, saying that people were brought in to Kitengala in the morning, the violence that was meted out in Mlolongo was never by the people of Mlolongo or Mavoko, but it's outsiders who were brought in. Honorable Speaker, when you speak about militia, we know the militia and criminal guns that have been used politically in this country since time immemorial. You know who does out of order on the Mungiki sect and Mungiki militia. You know who works with them. You know who 